Hello everyone, this is Reggie Time and we're here with another hand for us to discuss. Um, we're opening this hand on Unibet. It was a video I was making for Poker Market and this hand came up. So we're just going to quickly review it and see what you guys think. So we're playing five handed. We open Ace Jack off suit from the cutoff. Ho 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 ho. Who, um, he was only at one table I could see. With it being Unibet, it doesn't matter. He could, be, he could be that he's a regular. It could be that he's across all four of my tables. I was playing four tables under the name Reggie Time. So um, if he was on any of my other tables, he would be aware that I was more likely to be a regular. I didn't know anything about him, though. Um, we hadn't played too many hands up to now, so I wasn't really aware of how good or bad he was. Um, we flop the... Flush draw plus the two overs, and in true Doug Polk style, I elected to check my nut flush draw and two over cards. I think we can definitely make a case for C betting here, um, for sure, just to try and pick up the pot. And if we get called, we have equity, yada yada yada, two over cards, backdoor flush draw, sorry, two over cards, nut flush draw, etc., backdoor straight draw. So we can certainly make a case for betting, but ever since I saw Doug Polk's guide for playing flush draws, I've started checking nut flush draws more often. So we did check our opponent bets 56 cents and I elected to call. Turn gave us a double gut shot to go with our nut flush draw. Um, and again, I think we have exactly the same options as the flop. I think leading here would be a little bit weird. But um, if we decided now that we wanted to try and put some pressure on some of his like better made hands that just stabbed the flop. Say for example, he had a hand like pocket eights, uh, sorry pocket sevens, um, with or without a diamond, and then just bet the flop because we checked. You know, he just he was betting, hoping to make us fold, etc. Uh, I think this is a good card to try and apply some pressure to those types of hands. Um, I don't think we get a ten to fold very often if we lead, but I think leading could be an option here. It'll be a bit weird if we check the flop. I think checking's the much more normal play given our flop line and we do check and our opponent elects to make quite a big bet 140 into 180 so we now have to call 140 into a pot of 321 and we're taking away the fold button here we're not allowing you guys to fold the question is do you just call again here and kind of just hope to hit the river now do you think well, it's bet pretty big so it must be strong therefore we just call and hope to hit our diamond or Maybe we, we hit a nine and win or hit a king and win. I guess hitting a king would be better um, because we'd more like to get paid on our straight with the king than we are with the with a nine for obvious reasons. Or would you now just go for a check race thinking if he is ever bet folding here, he's putting way too much money in the pot. So therefore, you know, it, it, he's, given his bet size, it's a good opportunity to try and go for a raise over it because, for example, yeah, if he, is, if he does just have a hand like 10x, he's still continuing to bet for value or protection or whatever or if he who knows what he can have but basically i think the premise that i'm trying to get across is if you ever think he's bet folding here do you ever think he's bet folding here and if you do think he's he's sometimes going to have some fold in his range is now a good time to to raise if you were going to raise which you're not saying it's going to be good but if you are going to raise what size would you make it would you go for a small raise to try and rep super strength would you go for a medium size raise or would you go for the all-in so I guess the options from here are, would you just call, hope to hit, um, and would you raise? If you would raise, what size would you make it? So, um, yeah, I thought it was quite an interesting hand. I thought it was quite an interesting spot. Uh, I thought you guys might enjoy it. So there we go. Um, if you want the result of the hand, please check out my Facebook page in a couple of days. Come back and prompt me to give the result, and I'd be delighted to do that. Um, but for now, we'll leave it there, and I hope you guys have had some food for thought. Bye-bye for now.